put back together. Yeah, transmission blew up, so I've been Mia for a little bit. Um, yeah, just riding back from work now. Figured I'd make a quick little video. Just, uh, just chilling, kind of talking to myself so I can stay awake. I've been uh, I'm barely sleeping the last couple days, getting the bike together, riding, racing. In general, being a good old degenerate. Back to the usual bullshit. You know, same old, same old. All the fun stuff that uh, I haven't really been participating in as of late because of this. And, uh, yeah, so basically it's just a I'm back post, I guess. Yeah, kind of, uh, kind of just, uh, get back into it. Like I said, um, I kind of got a little discouraged because, uh, it takes me, like, a day and a half to upload, like, any video to YouTube. So it's, it's a lot more work than, um, I anticipated it being. Um, I just kind of expect. I, I mean, I just started doing it mostly for fun, and then uh, I realized like it literally took me. Yeah, it, might, it takes me to like 30 minutes to edit a video, then like another 30 minutes to render it, and then on top of that, it still takes uh, all night, and all morning. So like literally eight to ten hours just to upload one video ah, some old deer there on the right gotta love it but um yeah so it's just kind of like one of those things that is like i just kind of let it slide for a little while but i guess i'm back on it so hopefully i'll be somewhat consistent at least as as long as I got a bike running, I'll be out there doing something somewhere, and I'll probably turn the GoPro on and share it. But, that's just kind of what's been going on with me. And, you know, same old ride home at night, ride to work, go get something to eat, all that good stuff. Hopefully I'll do some food content, because uh, I've been finding a lot of good places lately. And, uh, now I actually have motivation to go out, get outside and go do stuff instead of just sitting in the house and sleeping and working on a few projects around the house. I'll actually be out and about. But that's pretty much where I've been at. Now hopefully, um, uh, I said, uh, I just, this past weekend did the A1 cycles uh, cash days racing event literally put the bike together friday morning afternoon rode around town for about two or three hours just testing it out and then uh, went to bed woke up four o'clock in the morning drove all the way to the other side of charlotte to the shady side dragway uh, went down there raced the uh, true street class um, bike ran absolutely flawless i mean fastest pass it's ever done it did really well um still lost the other guy just a little bit faster and i got out on him first second gear shipped in the third and he was coming back around so he just had a little more than i did and uh, he went a quite a few more rounds so i'm not not upset at all just a little unlucky on the chip draw but um i mean the bike that won went over a full second faster than me so I don't think I probably would have won anyways, but it would have been nice to get out of the first round, but going in, it's like, new combo, I'm rusty, I'm just going to have fun and see what's up, and it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. They, they really, uh, ran the event well. But, uh, yeah, definitely, uh, the best thing I've done to this bike is put these headlights on it. I got tired of uh, not seeing deer, having deer run out on me. I've hit two deer on bikes the last couple of years. So I'm just sick of deer. I was like, I don't care what it is. I'm going to see them. They're going to get frozen. You know, I'm not dealing with this shit anymore. 
I said, I'm getting older, I don't want to deal with deer. It just is what it is. That's like, I need some light, and I need a lot of it. I might make a video detailing like red light set up. I really like, like, um, I got a Baja on the right side, and then uh, I got a bullshit Amazon light on the left. And the Amazon light's uh, actually clear, but it throws that little square splotch of light, which somewhat annoys me, but I'll put up with it until uh, I find something better. Like, with just the regular lights on, it's not bad. It throws a little more side light, which is nice. But um, I got that one, I literally like pointed at the ground. And then the Baja's a little bit farther up. But I'll probably get like some yellow covers and stuff. Because it's still like obscenely bright. Like to the point like sometimes uh, I'll catch a road sign the wrong way. Or if they have a new road sign, like, it'll almost blind you of how bright it's getting reflected off of it. But... I don't have any more problems with deer. I can see all of them. Four lane road, I can see both ditches and into the field. So, that's what I'm going for. And I mean, even the regular light is pretty darn bright too. And I've been having a uh, last yesterday and today like my radio starts cutting out so I got to take my uh, take my front fairing off and uh, check all my connections wires stuff like that and figure out what's causing it to cut out it's probably either the signal wire or um, or uh, I guess something like that I just got to kind of dig through it and look at it put my hands on it and see what's going on bike sat for about a month and you know sometimes stuff gets just works itself loose without being constantly ran but um yeah that's pretty much it turn the lights back on on the high beams sometimes there'll be deer through here i don't see them a lot but every once in a while it's not the deer you see it's the one you don't see that gets you or the third one in my case you can dodge two out of three, but the third one will always bite you in the ass. Oh, deer roaming like pretty, usually like between three to five, sometimes you'll see more than that, but they run in these little pod packs and each one has like their group of acres. And I see the same ones like every single night. So depending on which way I come back home, you know, you'll see the different groups of deer. That's just kind of uh, something you deal with riding it, riding home at night. And it's a, more or less I've got them figured out, but every once in a while they'll just be stupid and be somewhere you're not expecting them. So I decided I wasn't ever going to get caught again by surprise. So added some light. Some of the cars don't like me, but. They can live with it. They got to deal with about three seconds, and uh, maybe, maybe a little more than that. But they'll be all right. They'll live. Put can in the road. gas station but the pump shut off at 11 that's a sucky feeling anyways I'll see y'all later take it easy